<laughs> Hello. I know we always fix our hair terrible. Anyways, I'm just going to share this video over to my other page. Give me a second here. Women, let's check it out. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I got another request to do a video about, hey Sonia, about exercising in midlife. Um, I know the lighting's terrible. Oh my God, I'm looking at it going, what the hell, just a minute. <laughs> Seriously, you got the worst lighting. Like, I can't wait for summer, because this is crazy. Come here. Oh, my dog. My dog wants to say hello. Hello. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So I've been a personal trainer. Uh, many people don't may not know that. I've been a personal trainer and I was a yoga instructor. Um, I worked as a personal training at a really great facility here in Nanaimo, um, working more really one-on-one -on -one with people. And I uh, learned a lot. And um, so, so when I got these questions about, <laughs> hey, about... Um, people are being confused, of course, because when you gain the weight around your midsection, right, and <clears throat> either you used to exercise before or you you never really exercised, the thing is, is that at now, at this phase of your life, you're noticing that, wow, what used to work isn't working anymore, and instead, you may be exercising like crazy, but you're not gaining, you're not losing the weight, and a lot of people even gain weight, right? So a lot of women are saying, I'm gaining weight, oh my God, what do I do? What's the right... What's the right type of exercise? And um, so this is, now there's not something that's perfect for everybody because everybody's different. So if you are somebody who has exercised in the past, like um, if you're somebody who has done weight training in the past, your body's really conditioned, you might've been an athlete, you might, like all this time, you might've been quite active and doing either weight training, cycling or something, right? Then your body is more conditioned than somebody who has not. So when you get into this phase, your body's going through a lot of changes, right? And it has gone through a lot of changes if you're postmenopausal. The thing is, too, that your hormone levels are decreasing, decreasing all the time, right? Um, so even if you're finished menopause, you're still not, you haven't gone back to where you were before. <laughs> That's for sure, right? And we begin to lose muscle mass. Thanks for that, guys. We begin to lose muscle mass at the age of 35, women do. So they lose about a half a pound of muscle a year. And they usually replace it with about one and a half pounds of fat if you're not working out. So if somebody's been sedentary in the past because basically they never had to worry about gaining weight before, they never really gained weight before, they never exercised much because they didn't like it, right? Um, and now you're hitting midlife and you're going, oh my God, I got this weight gain and I can't stop it. And so then you go and start exercising like crazy. That is also when there's a problem. Um, because your body's not conditioned. So if you start taking boot camps and stuff, you're probably gonna end up more injured than anything because your body, your ligaments and your tendons are slower at strengthening than your muscles. And so those are gonna be weak. And so there's really no great stability in your body. And if you're exercising really hard and in all these boot camps, you probably get injured. And again, your body's not used to that kind of stress. So when you're going through the changes, you, you are already in kind of a stress state. And so by adding, a lot more stress to your body, which exercise is, it's already stressed to your body, then your body doesn't see it as, oh, this is exercise, so we'll, it'll be okay for your body. Your body just sees stress as stress. Emotional stress, physical stress, mental stress. A lot of times when women are going through this phase, we are, well, especially also because you gotta remember our hormone levels are dropping and all over, right? And so we tend to be more emotional, especially as we age too. So then we tend to have more emotional stress. So what we used to be able to handle in our 20s, 30s, and early 40s before these wild hormone changes just not happening right now. <laughs> we really can't. So what, what really works? Well, someone asked me about HIT, like high-intensity interval training. And yes, that is really good. But the thing is, so we'll go there. The thing is, is that that's, so it's like doing short bursts of activity. So let's say you could do um, 
holding weights. You could do some lunges, 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 then some push-ups, and then maybe do a little jog up and down on a rebound or something, right? And then you just keep doing it. And that's great. It's short bursts of energy. It's muscle-bearing exercises, a lot of it, and it also doesn't last too long, right? So now that is great. But if you have never worked out before, you've got to build up to that. I guess that's what I want to say. If you read somewhere, this type of exercise is great for somebody in middle age. It's middle age is going to help you build muscle. It's going to help you burn fat because that's what happens. We build muscle. We burn more fat. But muscle shapes your body. Fat, you end up like a blob, kind of, right? So you want to have that muscle mass. So what I would suggest for somebody who hasn't had their body much, like, really conditioned in the past, but they want to begin, is not to go right down into some heavy interval training or hip training is to actually do some strength training with weights and you know you could even do without weights you could do some lunges you could do but you need to learn how to do them right extremely important push-ups you have to do them right I can't tell you when I go to the gym how many women I see doing exercises wrong and it's horrible you will not 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 get results probably if you do them wrong I've been through this and find I'm extremely exhausted when I exercise hard. Yep, so that's a sign. So let's say, um, Robin Stevens, she might be watching. I'm not sure if you're watching, Robin. Um, now, have you, you look like you've been exercising for a long time, and so you could probably handle interval training. You could just probably, because you strength train, right? So you could probably go into more of an interval training and do really well. But somebody who hasn't done that, it's only going to stress their body out more and burn you out and you're going to get extremely tired after. So, um, Robin, if you're on, I'm not sure. You can ask yourself after you do, let's say if you try this high intensity interval training um, and you feel really good after, like you feel like a good tired and you feel like, oh man, that was so great, then that's okay for you, right? But if you're somebody who tries something like this for a few days, you know, sometimes we want to give it a little bit of time, weeks or something. But you're noticing that you are so exhausted after. It's not right for you then. You're taking it too much to that next level. You need to take smaller increments. You also need to work on stability. So you need to learn how to do like planks, things like that, and start working on little um, exercises where you're working on your balance and your stability. Yoga is great for that, right? And I know that may seem, oh my God, how could I possibly burn calories when I'm doing yoga? <laughs> and I know... <laughs> But you're building up to it, right? And do some walking, do some hiking. That's one of the best things. Also, though, treadmills, doing lots of cardio, running long distance is not good. You're going to lose muscle mass um, and you might just gain more weight. So that's quite popular for a lot of cardio. Like extreme cardio is not good for you at this phase of your life unless maybe you've been used to it for years and years and years, right? But don't start that. You'll probably gain weight. And uh, I'm just going to read what someone said about that. Um, so what they say is like this phase of life, cardio can actually increase, doing lots of cardio can actually increase your belly fat and it speeds up. It oh, sorry guys, I dropped you. <laughs> Tell ya, you wouldn't believe the rig I have set up here for us. Um, sorry about that. Yeah. So treadmill, extensive treadmill, extensive running on roads and stuff. No, don't do it in midlife. Don't do it. The best thing you could do is um, learn how to do free weights and weights really well and stability. Hey, Pam. But if somebody sent me, I can just hear people right now. I hate training with weights. I don't like going to the gym. I just hate it. Oh, my God. I can't do that. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Someone give me a good tripod. I need a good one. Um, <laughs> mine broke. Okay, <laughs> just a minute. Um, oh my God. Yeah, so not a lot of cardio. Don't just do the, the, you know, the long monotonous cardio. No, 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 no. Not good for you right now. So what you need to do is smaller bursts of energy. And if you're not that conditioned yet, like I was saying, then what you would work on is getting there. So doing stability exercises, doing some good squats, doing some lunges, and you don't have to do them at a gym. You can get a few free. It seems boring, doesn't it? I know. I love weights, but I know lots of women think it's really boring. So something you could try is, Lita, is do a yoga class where you're doing some flow, working with your breath. Um, vinyasa yoga is really, really good. You could, um, Ashtanga yoga would be like, I mean, it's great, but it's very powerful, but you got to work up to it too. 
Uh, but it's seriously, it's about how you want your body to be. So if you say, oh, I hate weights, I don't want to do weights, there's no way I want to do this, well, then you're going to live with the consequences of not doing it. That's kind of what it's about. You're making your choices, and so it's very important that if you truly want to slim and trim and tone your body, then you just got to realize what's the best way to do that, right? Either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. The choice is yours, right? The choice is yours. But if what you're doing is not working and you're gaining weight, it's not right for you. It's not the right thing to do for you. What did Pam say? I tried to take up jogging when I got... Moose must be your dog. <laughs> I was just about crippled after 10 days and I'm a gym junkie. Well, there you go. So yeah, you like the gym. That's... You know, I'm not a fan of going to it a lot. What does Robin says? I lift five days a week. Great, Robin. You're doing the, the exact right thing. Robin, I think for you, it might be what you're eating. Yeah, and uh, that's another thing I want to talk about for people is what you're eating. So, ex so you got the clear of exercise. If you are not sure what HIT or high-intensity interval training is, you can Google it. But remember, remember, remember don't go from here to here <laughs> work little increments very 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 important and also you need to do those exercises right you need to do the plank right you need to do push-ups right you need to do lunges right you need to do squats right otherwise you could hurt yourself and now for diet what we're talking about so a lot have talked to me about exercise lately exercise is small part diet the largest part maybe 95% 5% like 95% diet 5% exercise especially during midlife and I know that um, you could also sorry it's a stupid thing you know you're thinking I cleaned up my diet it's really good I eat really well that can, oh my god I'm sorry guys I'm like literally ready to lose it with this tripod um, <laughs> okay friggin I want to swear right now. Um, so with the diet. So I talked to a lady this morning who is joining my six-week program. And I encourage you guys who are not, who aren't losing the weight and don't know what to do about it, join the six-week program. I can tell you right now that's exactly what you need to do. <laughs> For sure. Because I was talking to her, right? And she eats like, oh my God, she eats so super clean. Oh, I think she's better than I am. But you know what it was? She still wasn't eating right. She still wasn't eating the right things. Like she was eating actually so little, trying to, but it, little healthy stuff, but she wasn't including any fats, the fat and the carbohydrates, you know, the whole oh, thing that's going around on the internet now. Stay away from uh, fats and stuff. Not women in, in midlife. You need your good fats for God's sakes. Oh my God, don't stay away from your good fats. Um, but anyways... That's aside. So the thing is, is that you may think you're eating right, but if you are exercising pretty good and you think you're eating really, really clean and you have no idea why you're still gaining weight, well, we know this the hormones, right? When you're in post when you're in perimenopause, which is the years leading up to menopause, so you're still having your period, whether it's off and on and really heavy and then really light or too much, you miss it. Then you are still in the real fluctuation. So it's very, very tricky, right? So it's very tricky to um, control, kind of control that. But you can, but it really, really, really needs to be what you eat, right? Hugely important what you eat, what you're, what you're eating and what you're drinking. Uh, toxins in your diet, any type of toxins in your diet. And then, of course, exercise. And stress, probably one of the most important things is how you handle stress, how much stress your body is consistently under. Um, someone on my Facebook community also commented that, oh, the exercise, she's, she's 60 years old. I'm not sure if she's on, I forget her name, but oh my goodness, she exercises, works five days a week, exercises like a mad woman. So it's probably way too much for her, right? And then um, is gaining weight. Yeah, so that I said to her, it's, it could be, if you're still feeling good after you exercise, like really good, then it's probably that you're not eating certain things right, right? Especially, I find most women get it wrong in the morning, get the food thing wrong in the morning. Uh, and I don't eat a lot of food. I'm not talking about eating a huge amount of food. It's just, if you don't eat anything and just drink coffee and water when you get up and go off to work and don't eat till lunch, that's your problem right there. <laughs> if you eat uh, toast or bagel in the morning with peanut butter 
and have a protein smoothie with no fruit, vegetables, or anything natural in it, that's not right either, right? Um, yeah, so anyways, I hope this helped you guys. I don't want to ramble on and not make any sense, but listen, if you haven't listened to this, go back to the beginning and listen, because I really talked about what your body can handle at this time of your life, like as opposed to what type of exercise. Yeah, and if you're, <clears throat> it really is about doing the strength training, you know, however you want to take that, whether you want it to just be body weight strength training exercises, whether you want to get into a gym, whether you want to have a few weights at home, or whether you want to buy some program that you can have on your TV that shows you some kind of fun. Like if you were to do things that were a little bit of dancing, a little bit of strength training mixed in, something like that, it would be incredible. That would be really, really good. Remember to manage yourself not manage your stress, remember to decrease your stress. So work on whatever you can so that you can decrease your stress. Hey, Violet. Sorry, don't notice I just put my glasses on now, I can see. But, all right, enough of my rambling. Sorry for dropping you guys a few times during my video. Please post below, I did not make notes for this video, so I'm all over the place. But please post below if you have any questions or comments. I truly would love to hear what you have to say. And if you're having an issue with exercising and you're not sure, am I exercising too much? Am I not enough? Or things like that, post below and I can just get some idea. I don't know you or exactly what you eat, but maybe I can give you some suggestions. All right. Have a fabulous, wonderful evening. Bye-bye.